Okay, so in the previous tutorial, we have looked at the IFC classes hierarchy and how IFC classes can inherit from their parent classes all the abilities that these classes may have. So that can be attributes, relationships, and even property sets. So as we said, a object has certain attributes, but it is not enough to describe our object. So we may give it certain properties and to do so, we need to first link it to a property set. There are a number of property sets which are defined in the schema so that you do not have to invent your own. And in the case you don't find your properties within those specified there, then you would need to create custom P sets. So first we can scroll down this list and see all these available P sets that are applicable for our wall. If we click on the little pencil and scroll a bit down so that we can see all the available properties within this property set, we see they have a name and they also have a value. So the value for this one is an IFC identifier. For the status, it is an enumeration. The acoustic rating could be some text. So in order to really know what this is, uh, we could check the schema. So I previously showed you a lazy way to search for IFC entities by just typing something like IFC wall, but this is quite wrong. Instead, we'll search for building smart technical website. Click on the first link on the first link here. Then go to standards, IFC specifications database. And for the official release, which is an ISO standard, we could either click on this link here, which opens the uh, specifications uh, in your browser, or you could download the HTML file. So I downloaded the HTML file and once you unzip that file, you'll find an HTML folder inside. Within there, if you click on index, you will get a, a page within a local directory. Now let's search for our IFC wall. And let's go to the second one here. Okay, IFC wall. If we scroll a bit down, we can find the property sets applicable for this object. We have a pset wall common that we spoke about, and for the file rating, it should just be a label. So a label is just a string. And let's go to our scripting environment. So first, let's import IFC open shell. So from Blender bin bin. IFC import IFC store. Now we can store our file from this store in this variable and we can also retrieve the path where our file is stored. I am indeed a math scientist, so let's continue with our off wall or random wall with a, let's say, file by type, IFC wall, let's say the first index. And so this wall is defined by a number of IFC well defined by properties. Let's take the first one in this list and go to this relating property definition so that we may retrieve a quantity set apparently. So this is an IFC element quantity, which is a subclass of IFC quantity set. Now let's get the first one and that returns a property set. First in the index one. On index 2, we have again another property set. Store this uh, 
but I'm gonna take third because I know it has a bunch more uh, properties than the other ones. So this P set, which is called P set while common, has properties. What are these properties? So we have most of them which are single values, which we could have enumerations like the, the distinguished as we saw. We could even have a list of values. If we were to take the first one again in the set, we can then have access to the name attribute or the nominal value attribute. And if we then write wrap value, we get the actual value that's stored within this IFC entity. Right, so we can now write more elaborated code to retrieve these entities. Let us write it uh, and then paste it into our console to test what we're doing. So we had a my wall variable. Now let's create an empty dictionary and we're going to check if this wall has any definitions even though we know it has. So if my wall is defined by uh, for relationship in my wall is defined by the check the relationship is a I see rel defines by properties and we may also check if the relating uh, the relationship relating property I forgot capital here yeah, relating property definition is a IFC property set. So if it is, then we can call this our definition, or better yet, we can call it a P set directly now. So the P set is relationship relating property definition. Our props will now be an empty dictionary where we can store all the properties within this P set. So for property in P set has property if the property is we only want to take the I see property single values as the other ones would be a bit trickier to take care of. So if property is a IFC property single value, the props property name will be stored as the key and the value will be a property nominal value wrapped value. Now let's get out of the loop the definition name as the key of our P set. Sorry, I said it was P set, not definition. I was used to it. So P set name equals props, which will be all the props that we stored. And we'll also print the P set name that we just added to this dictionary. Now let's copy this and paste it in the console. There is an error. I forgot a parent. I uh, forgot to close my string here. Let's copy again. Let's paste it. Enter. We added three P sets. Let's type P sets. What can we write? What can we read? P set environmental impact indicators has a reference which has a value of external. The PSET reinforcement bar, pitch of wall, also has an attribute called reference and it is 
250 external. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a really bad export. Uh, I've been lazy. I didn't set it up correctly. And I didn't have the patience. The last one, which is PSET more common, has the is external being true, load bearing is false, extent to structure true. So all of these are property sets with properties. Great. Okay, so we could have done something way quicker by using the IFC Open Shell utilities functions. So let's do it. Let's import IFC Open Shell util element. And with this, we can write util element. Pressing tab will get us all the methods and properties that we may have. We can find something called get pieces. When we tap that, we can see that we should be using our wall element as the first attribute and then writing pieces only being true to only retrieve our properties and property sets. So this is nearly what we've done before, but it also retrieves the ID of the pieces. If you were to check how this code is written, and it is a lot more elaborate than what we've done because it takes in different cases. Uh, IC open shell Python. All right, let's go to source. IC open shell Python. IC open shell util element.py contains this get pieces function and as you can see it deals with quantities with pieces deals with not just property single values but also IFC complex properties which we didn't look at okay.